they will always say one thing without german you can survive but you can't go to a higher level or like the best thing is learn german there's no alternative hi chintu welcome to the yocket connect series i would want to begin this conversation understanding what your background is like so if you could quickly tell us about which course did you pursue in your bachelors after that how was your journey like and from there how did you end up coming to germany to pursue your masters so a quick glimpse would be really helpful yeah okay uh hello everyone and thank you for giving me this opportunity so i would like to start uh, talking about my educational journey uh i did my bachelor's in electrical engineering uh from kolkata west bengal from a private uh, university uh i graduated in 2016 uh then i actually did masters in india uh, like mtech uh i uh, after my bachelor's i gave gate examination and uh, from there i got into nit raurkela uh and over there i did mtech in control and automation Uh, then i pa- graduated in 2019 and at that point of time i was a bit confused whether i want to go to the industry or i want to do like further studies and all so the thing i realized after my graduation is that uh, uh, the course which i did in my mtech i am not i do not want to pursue my Uh, future in that so then i started looking uh, for another master course and i came along uh, this course in germany which is master of science in power engineering then i l- applied to that and got into here and i started my masters uh, over here in germany in october 2020 after choosing germany did you have had any second thoughts that am i making the right choice is germany would, would that be the best option for me also keeping in mind that german has a language barrier as well you need to learn german language and all so i want to understand what were your thoughts at that time how did you cope up with the german language mm-hmm. uh so obviously like when you take such a big decision going abroad and for studies you have to uh be completely clear in your thought process otherwise there might be lots of confusion going uh, in your journey so when i graduated from my masters back in india i uh, was completely clear uh, where i want to go and in which direction i want to go so i wanted to pursue masters in basically power electronics field because i was interested in electrical vehicles and designing of electrical vehicles and they're talking about vehicles you know like german uh, german car electric vehicles are the hub and they are the like the best you can say in the world in terms of car making and automobile industry so as far as location or destination was uh, supposed to be chosen i was 100% sure where i want to go and which course i want to follow and then comes the hard part obviously german as a language uh because uh i was interested in the course and i wanted to work in a certain direction and i wanted to work in a certain company so that's why i started uh preparing myself that what are the things we need to do to be basically successful in germany or to have a easy process so then i started learning german because uh, like if you talk to your fellow course mates or your seniors who have uh, been to germany they will always say one thing without german you can survive but you can't go to a higher level or like the best thing is learn german there's no alternative it's wonderful to know that you know you picked up german language so well and you are clear with all the basics but uh, do you think you might find it a bit challenging after you enter the job market wherein you would have to be extremely polished with your germany so do you think an indian student who is who has just started preparing for the german language and uh, doesn't have lot of time to move to germany do you think in a span of let's say one and a half two years by the time they graduate uh, can they pick up german language very well actually if you 
if you go by the market uh, like what's happening in germany right now is it's uh, like completely internationalized so the company i am working right now is like uh, i work in infineon right now as a working student like because over here we can uh, study and work uh, simultaneously so the first language in our company is english so you can do 100% of the work in english but that doesn't mean that you don't need german because there are certain companies which are span- like panned out throughout the world so the- obviously their first language will be english but that doesn't mean you don't need german so when it comes to learning german uh, i would say it doesn't only you you shouldn't only look at the time span that one and a half year or two years it's i would say it's uh, your motivation of uh, learning the language i ha- i know guys who have learned in 3 months from a1 to c1 level so that's sometimes unbelievable for us also but yeah that's 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 they are people somehow they have done it so i would say uh, you we shouldn't fix any timeline uh, but we should keep keep it on a learning track we shouldn't stop it because if you uh, suppose you are doing a course for the first semester then you keep a gap in the second semester and then again trying to join in the third semester so obviously there will be a gap and uh, the lack of concentration will be there so i would say if you are trying to learn german just go in a complete flow and don't always like uh, keep it a tagline uh, like timeline in in these months you have to complete because it like it's a language it's not any course or something that you have to finalize so i would say just keep in mind that you should keep on learning and uh, it's not that in companies you won't find that uh, that they would say you need this level of german so obviously some companies do that they need business flow in german because the team is completely german team there there's no one working who can speak english so obviously when they uh, give the job description they will say that yes please uh, you have to be german fluent but in most of the companies they want to see that do you w- even want to speak german or not that's that's the motivation behind asking that so uh, i mean there's not always a level fixed to your german german language but yeah you should try to learn it